Let's talk about some situations with general form. So here's a situation. A Keith has only nickels and quarters in their pocket. Altogether, they have one dollar. So just a fistful of change or maybe a pocket full of change, maybe not even full, uh, nickels and quarters only, um, and they have one dollar altogether. So we're going to make an equation and a graph to think about it. So I think the first thing I'll think about is uh, just doing some counting. So I've got like some number of quarters. And some number of nickels. And altogether, they have to add to $1. So I'm just going to think about some possibilities. I could have four quarters and no nickels. That's $1. Uh, I could have three quarters, and then I'd have 75 cents. So I'd need um, five, five nickels. I could have two quarters, 50 cents, so I'd need 10 nickels. Could have one quarter, 25 cents, so I'd need 15 nickels. Could have zero quarters, and I need 20 nickels. So I've got that. So that's that's kind of interesting to me. Let me let me think about this. If this graph, let's say this is quarters, how many quarters, right? Number of quarters. And this is the number of nickels that I have, 5, 10. Maybe I could have some graph paper here. That might help. There we go. Zoom in on that graph paper a little bit. So let's see, uh, zero quarters, 20 nickels, 1 and 15, 2 and 10, 3 and 5, 4 and 0. Great. All right, so I can um, go from here to try and write my equation. So I already know how to write equations if I know the intercepts in general form. Right, I've got this intercept and this intercept. And remember, it goes opposite. So this is my x's. These are my y's. So it would be 20x plus 4y equals 4 times 20 is 80. So that's just going from the graph, right? That's not thinking about um, the meaning of quarters and nickels, x and y, anything like that. That's just like using those intercept methods to write a general form for it. Um, do you see how this is the same as 10x plus 2y equals 40, where I can divide both sides by 2. Or I can divide by both sides by 2 again. 5x plus y equals 20. Those are all the same equation. Those are all equations. Well, they're all equations of the same line. That's what I'm trying to say. Great. Um, another way I could think about this, it's got a y-intercept of 20. And it's got a slope of negative 5, right? Over 1, down 5. And notice, if I add 5x to both sides, I get that. So there's some ways I could write this. There's another way I could write this as well. And let's go back to the meaning of what's going on. I've got some quarters, and I've got some nickels. And so notice like this 3, 5, I, I know that this works because if I had 3 quarters, quarters are worth 25 cents each, plus 5 nickels, nickels are worth 5 cents each, um, that would equal 100, would equal 100 cents, right? 75 plus 25. Or if I did this with, the, with two quarters and 10 nickels, two quarters worth 25 cents each, plus 10 nickels worth 5 cents each is also 100 pennies. Each of these points like works in here. And notice what's consistent in here is how much quarters are worth and how much nickels are worth. Like that doesn't change, at least in cents. So um, this number 
is how many quarters I have, which is x. This number is how many nickels I have, which is y. So I, another equation I could write for this would be 25x, 25 cents per quarter, times how many quarters I have, plus 5, what a nickel's worth, times how many nickels I have is 100. So I could get this out of the context of the problem. And notice if I multiply both sides by 5, that's that. 